Good morning to all of you. Welcome to Legal Matters by Sai Babu Sankara. Today we are going to discuss the topic obiter dicta. You all know what is obiter dicta. Obiter dicta means passing remark. An oral expression of a judge during the hearing. It is only oral, it is only personal but it will not find any place in the judgment. It will not have any effect on the judgment. So these are called obiter dicta. Why this frame has been, why this uh, <coughs> concept has been framed because judges are also people. They are also susceptible to speak what they like, freedom of speech. So, but since it is not a judicial remark, every word coming out from the judge cannot be taken as a judicial fiat. Therefore, they are called obiter dicta, passing a remark or an expression or opinion made by the judge during the course of the trial. So yesterday, <coughs> a matter has come before Justice Suri Kant in the Supreme Court. This is regarding anticipatory bail petition filed in a theft case. No doubt, everybody knows theft is a non benevolence but the punishment is only three years. According to section 317 of the IPC, the punishment for theft is only three years, but still it is a non bailable offence. So, the matter has come to the level of Supreme Court as the lower courts did not grant him bail, even though it is uh, within seven years, 41 years ARPC notice can be given. Why the police have not given? All these things uh, we are going to discuss. It is a personal experience of Justice Surikant. What happened is, <coughs> Surikant, our Justice, Honorable Justice, he has got some land. He is an agriculturist. He gets the agriculture through his caretaker. On one day, during the early hours, the caretaker telephoned our Justice and said that the electric wires from the pole to the tube well or to the well they were disconnected, that means they were committed theft of simply to say <coughs> the copper wire from the electric pole to the well, they were cut off. Therefore, he is not able to draw any water to the agricultural lands. Of course, our man is a judge. So, he said immediately go to the police station and inform the about the theft. Yes, he has, uh, as a dutiful servant, he went there, he reported the matter to the police. Of course, the police also, by registering a case, they expressed their opinion like this. Hum kya karenge bhai? Aaj kal inko griftar karke court mein vichna, court has given bail. Yesterday only we have arrested and kept, uh, sent him to jail. He was released on bail and once again he has uh, committed theft of this property. Boka dhongo and gurincha and matra to me. Honestly, this is the opinion of the uh, so-called police officer. This was conveyed to the judge. He smiled and kept quiet because he can't do anything. Yes, as per law, they have to give him bail. But in this particular case, he did not give bail. Why? So, this is not at all connected to his land, uh, land or motor uh, electric wire theft. This is another theft. Here, the accused person is involved in 14 similar offences. In all the 13, he got bail. He has to get only, only in this particular case, but he was not given bail. So, even Justice Surekant also, he rejected to give bail. Even though the advocate stated that it is only a petty offence and the other rest of 13 cases he was given bail. Why? Because he has got the personal experience. Once you are granted bail, you are committing the same business or you are starting the same business. So, it is not correct. So, therefore, without giving bail, a direction was given by the Honorable Supreme Court that this man has to surrender before uh, the so-called uh, uh, court and the trial court can hand over him to police custody. The police can interrogate him in a proper way and the court will decide whether to give bail or not. So, but this matter has to be done expeditiously. 
so this is the effect of a uh, arbiter dicta so judges are also not uh, uh, immune from the so called uh, such things so the police officer whatever he has expressed he has correct yes we are arresting them sending them to the court but the judges are giving bail what to do yes it is his arbiter dicta so ultimately no doubt even though the anticipated bail was not given he was directed to surrender before the court at least uh, this was done right so please hear my video and learn about obitar dicta thank you very much